Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go through projects and I'm going to show you exactly how we can work and manage our projects so that when we do come back to work with them again, it's going to be very easy and simple, straightforward to know exactly what the projects are for and exactly um, how we can set them up as well. So the very first thing I'm going to do is click on the Manage Projects tab and I'm going to click towards the bottom where it says Add Project. As soon as I click on the Add Project, a new option is going to be, or a new page, um, is going to be shown towards the right hand side and if you don't if you don't actually see this then not to worry all you have to do is ensure you're on the right tab towards the very top as well and you need to make sure that you're on the group project details tab so the very first thing we do now is name the project um, it's a very good idea to try and remain organized from the very start now you can name these projects in any way that you want as well so one thing that you can, or one method to name these projects is after the websites that you're going to promote. So for example, I can name this now Social Hub Submitter, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So let's start off by making up, the, making the project now. Now I'm going to create a regular project. We've already got a video tutorial on the feed project. So please refer to that video tutorial to find out how to work with feeds. Now, what I'm going to do is, well, what the software is asking me to do is enter a title, a description, and also links that I'm looking to promote. So I'm going to go, I've actually got these pre-prepared. So, okay, let me just pick up something from here. I'm just going to paste that into here, and I'm going to copy this whole article. And I'm going to enter that into here as well. Now, some of the hubs do actually have some limits. Now, the limitations on the hub do vary from hub to hub. Um, I think Hello Text has a character limit on there as well. Um, now, to find out and to be precise and sure exactly what the character limit is, please do refer to Hello Text and find out exactly um, what their limits are. Now, one thing to keep in mind that the hubs do actually work with a number of status update sites as well, which also have character limits. So when you are going to be promoting your links and everything as well, it is a very good idea to actually have your links placed towards the very beginning. And when you do place your link holders, don't forget to actually put a, put a space before and after the link placeholder so that it doesn't get mixed up with the actual contents and your link doesn't go over to a 404 page. Now, this link placeholder is not going to make much sense to you at the moment because I've actually just skipped a part and the part that I've skipped is adding my links. So what I need to do is add my links here, one per line, and the system will rotate between them. Well, it won't rotate, but it'll randomly choose one of them links to choose if you have more than three noted, more than two noted, sorry. It'll randomly choose one when it's going to be making a post for us. So I'm going to enter a link in here. Okay, I'm gonna actually duplicate this on. Okay, so I've actually got a number of links notes inside of here now. And what I need to do now is actually put a placeholder inside of the description or tell the system exactly where I want it to enter my links when it's gonna be making that post. The way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna go into the description and I'm gonna right click anywhere and I'm gonna click on insert URL. What I want to make sure is nothing's touching that placeholder so that there's a space before and after it, or if not before it, then there's nothing that starts before it anyway. Okay, so just to be sure, I'm gonna put a space there as well. I know nothing's before it and nothing's after it as well. What's gonna happen now is when the system does go and post this project um, to your hubs that you've got linked to it, it's gonna replace this placeholder with one of these links from your link of lists. You can have more than one link inside of here as well. The way you do this is actually right click again, insert link, and just make sure there's a gap between the actual placeholder and your text that you've got inside of your description. Now, what the system is gonna do, it's gonna replace this placeholder here randomly with one of these links, and it's gonna do exactly the same for this placeholder as well. And my rule of thumb that I stick to is the max of two links in any one post. I actually prefer only to have one link being promoted any time that I actually send my text over. And the whole reason behind that is because we're working with high social media websites that all have different rules. Now, the rules can vary from them being happy with you to post one link each time you make a post, um, or for you to add two links each time, you, each time you make a post. If you're not sure, keep your links down to a minimum to about one or two maximum, and let the, let the system 
rotate for you again it's going to rotate every time it makes a post or it's going to randomly choose for you every time it makes a post depending on how many link placeholders you hold now you can also enter anchor text links as well the way you'd an enter an anchor text link is to right click and click on insert anchor now this also supports spin syntax as well regular spin syntax as you would use spin sac as you would use spin syntax anywhere else and that's using the curly bracket typing in your word separated by a pipeline and then closing it off with a curly bracket as well and then clicking on save now the whole system supports spin syntax you can enter your own spin syntax inside of the article sorry inside inside of the description and inside of the title inside of your anchor text as well one thing to keep in mind guys is not all not every social media website is going to actually support anchor text links and they're not going to render html hello text and ping fm are one of them as well i'm i'm sure posterius does actually accept anchor text links so it's a very good idea to benefit from just raw html sorry raw http links which also add super good value okay so once you're actually happy with exactly what you've got down here all you need to do is click on save if you've got the best spin if you've got the best spinner already um, added into your settings area then you can actually click on get the best spinner syntax as you can see I haven't got my details in there but you can click on get spin syntax and it will automatically change this over to spin syntax for you once you are done you click on save and that's one project that has been created I will see you on part two and show you exactly how to work with groups now just before we go over to that guys you can add as many projects as you want just click on add project add project name the project choose if it's a regular project or a feed project add your title your description and the links and save it over and it'll show up here as well let's have a look i'll just call this something random add something random here random in here save it over and as you can see we've got more projects here now when you're actually looking to make your posts to your hubs you can select which projects how many projects you want for the software to actually work with how many groups and how many connections you want the software to work with as well and it will randomly post for you really trying to protect your accounts minimizing your footprints based on timestamps as well now if you're looking to promote the same site and if you're looking to have a number of projects with different articles for the same sites very very simple very straightforward just create another group sorry create another project maybe for social hub submitter call it social hub submitter one add a different art description in there add a different title in there but add exactly the same links that you're looking to promote and that will ensure that you're promoting the same websites the same urls but you're actually getting different contents posted onto your social hubs Thank you very much guys and I'll see you in the next video.